This year's coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show was brought to you in part by Lenovo and their Legion Y720 Gaming Notebook. The Legion Y720 is powering all of the videos shot this year in Las Vegas. Hey, welcome back to WCCF Tech, and once again, this is Keith, but today we are here at the AMD suite at CES taking a look at some of their new products. Now, what we're focusing on today is specifically their new Raven Ridge a desktop lineup. So that's the Ryzen 5 2400G and the Ryzen 3 2200G. Now, they did announce some new pricing and going into 2018 on their existing Ryzen products, including getting into the X399 platform with Ryzen Threadripper 1900X at 449. But we'll list uh, on over on the site all the up the new pricing for all the rest of their series, and what they're looking at with their new Ryzen 5. The Ryzen 5 2400G and the Ryzen 3 2200G is continuing their multi-threaded leadership at their particular price points, but this time they're adding in graphics technology, so Radeon RX Vega graphics. So what you're looking at with the Ryzen 5 2400G is a $169 processor with a 4-core, 8-thread, turboing up to 3.9 gigahertz with 11 CUs of 11 CUs of Radeon Vega technology. The Ryzen 3 2200G brings it down to $99, bringing you a sub $100 entry point into the Ryzen family with graphics. That's a four core, four threaded processor pumping up to 3.7 gigahertz at with a uh, additional eight compute units of Radeon Vega technology. This is all part of their Ryzen Desktop 2000 series launch, so this will be ahead of the Pinnacle Ridge launch. It's Raven Ridge, then Pinnacle Ridge later, so we're looking at a relatively soon launch for the Raven Ridge. We're talking February 12th for what we can just quickly refer to as Ryzen G for the rest of the video so that we're not reciting a whole bunch of numbers. So what we're seeing here is even Raven Ridge is getting a Precision Boost 2.0, which is taking into account all cores, power envelope, and temperature rather than just a per core basis. So you could have more cores running faster given that the temperature and the power envelope allow for it, which is going to be much better than just a strict one core at this speed, two cores at that speed. So it's good to see that. Now we do, we will be seeing new 400 series boards coming in April, and that's going to be about when you can expect to see the Pinnacle Ridge line come through. So that's the Ryzen 5, 3, 5, and 7 2000 series outside of the G series. So looking at the, that, now that is over the previous 300 series. So something to keep in mind is all of the processors are going to work right alongside, just perfectly fine, in the 300 series products, but they will need a BIOS update. So they have a way of notifying you on websites or on boxes to say if it's going to be ready. It'll actually say Ryzen Desktop 2000 ready. Kind of 1999 moment there, right? Y2K? Performance-wise, they were looking at a good performance boost with Ryzen 5 and 3. G over the previous even Ryzen 5 and 3 without Radeon graphics. And one of the ways that they're able to do this is through memory support. So what we're looking at with the Ryzen G, they're fully unlocked. There are 65 watt parts coming with the Wraith cooler. So a 95 watt cooler, the same one that came with the Ryzen, uh, 5, Ryzen 5 1600 and the Ryzen 7 1700. Didn't get word on whether it was the RGB model or not, but either way. So you're looking at a 65 watt part on a 95 watt cooler. Now, they did show us uh, specifications and slides, and they did have it at the show running uh, beyond DDR4-3600. They said that DDR4-3600 was fairly easy for them to hit, as well as 1675 megahertz on the dedicated GPU. So that is really good stuff there. And they did that all on the Gigabyte ITX AB350 gaming Wi-Fi. So they did it on an existing B350 motherboard rather than one of the new 400 series. So again, that's February 12th for the launch on that. So those are the details that we've got so far on the Ryzen G processors, so expect to see full coverage from us when these do come live. Whether we get over AMD or get them ourselves, we're going to be getting them, and we'll be back into our Willet APU series. So that's what we have today talking about the Ryzen family of processors, specifically the Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 uh, graphics portions with Vega graphics built in. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will catch you in the next one.